Now, remind us what the dinosaur is that we see floating around there in the, in the, uh, on the space station. The, the dinosaur has special significance to both of you and your kids, right? You bet. Uh, this was our zero-G indicator that we brought up on Crew Dragon. His name is Tremor, and uh, he was picked by both of our sons to be the uh, finalist to get to go fly with their daddies. So Tremor's going to hang out with us up here for the uh, duration of the mission, and then we'll uh, take him back home hopefully in a few months. Let me ask you if I could. Uh, you mentioned, you know, the young astronauts that have come on board. What is your message to young people today who dream of being astronauts and specifically who can't graduate right now from high school or for college? You could combine your answer into a message to the graduates and to young people who want to be astronauts. But what's the message to young people who now are watching you and dreaming about going there? You know, for, for all the students who are out there with, with dreams to become astronauts or other dreams that are still in front of them who have been affected by the pandemic, maybe a graduation de was delayed, maybe a tournament that they were going to participate in from a sports perspective was delayed, is just because that event was postponed or didn't happen on schedule, that does not mean that y your dream ends. That means it's an opportunity to persevere. It's an opportunity to continue that dream and find a, another way or an alternate way or accept that maybe graduation isn't the requirement that, uh, that it once was for accomplishing your next object objective in the way that it was done by previous people. So I think with the situation that we've got, people will all have to adapt and overcome the, the challenge that is this pandemic and uh, move forward in spite of it and continue to, to follow their dreams. I know that uh, Doug and I had many challenges as we worked towards this mission, one of which was the uh, pandemic that really started to affect us back in March of this year, uh, impacted our training schedule, impacted which training events we could participate in, changed the way our quarantine leading up to flight was executed. Uh, the team worked together, tried to understand the problem, and was able to solve it to still accomplish the mission, which was our dream and their dreams of returning that human spaceflight